Good morning, Year 9, and welcome to your World Book Week Assembly. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, my name is Miss Saunders, and I'm going to go through some of the activities and things we have on offer for you this week. So, uh, first of all, we have got uh, this, which should have been sent home to you, but just a couple of things that you guys can get involved with. So, you will remember last year, we had our wonderful members of staff, um, all of your teachers, dressing up as book characters, and often in their departments. You may recall back in the first year when the maths all dressed up, as Alice in Wonderland. We had SLT last year who all dressed up as Charlie in the Chocolate Factory and unfortunately we are not in school today to be able to do the same. But that doesn't mean that we are going to stop you from getting dressed up. So we have a costume competition and if you get dressed as your favourite literary character, your favourite book character, can you send your photo to literally at wilden.org and that is for all of you who are still at home um, and remote learning. We also have some challenges for you to enter from the LRC with prizes to be won. Um, we've got your World Book Day voucher and I will show you how you can access that in just a moment. Um, we're going to be looking at recommendations from staff of what you could read. You are going to be seeing teachers' shelfies, not a selfie, but a picture of their shelf and trying to work out who belongs to who in your next tutor session. And finally, there is a World Book Week quiz. So let's start having a look at some of those activities. So you should have this on your Google Classroom. Um, it will be being uploaded for you. Um, and it is our newsletter from the LRC. Now, first of all, you can see uh, it says here, want a free book or you can get one pound off of any book over 2 99 in a shop. You'll see that we, these are the books that have been released. So uh, we've got a Skullduggery Pleasant and a Holly Jackson book, which are both really popular, perhaps slightly uh, for younger people than intended at your age group. But if we click on this book token, it should slowly, as my internet goes, upload you to a PDF that you can print off and take into any bookshop or supermarket somewhere that sells books and you can use that for one pound off of your book or for one of those free special world book day books. It will load eventually, we will get there. Slowly. Here we are. So yeah, you can see here, if you click on the link in uh, on the PDF, it will bring you to this and it says, this is your World Book Day £1 token. It explains all about it. You've only got till the end of March to use this. So as I said, uh, you can take it in to a supermarket or a bookshop when you're buying a book um, and it will give you £1 off or an audio book as well. So, what else do we have on offer for you? Slowly loading. We will get there. So, as well as those, we have... Um, lots of activities for you to complete. So everyone who clicks on this link and completes the World Book Week not day, World Book Week quiz will be getting a green eref. So it's linked to your email address um, and it is a multiple choice 15 question quiz for you guys to complete. You can see we've got um, Maze Runner, Harry Potter, um, Tom Gates questions on there. Not only if you complete this, oh, I need to go back, sorry, technical, uh, we also have lots of different competitions for you to enter. So if you do the quiz and one of the lockdown library challenges, you will be put into um, a draw in order to win some prizes. So the lockdown challenges, you can set, have reading a classic novel. You could illustrate an alternative book cover, um, create your own murder mystery, read a genre you've never read before, design a book poster to promote your favourite book, um, 
and then if you've watched the film we've got book clicks so things that you have watched you might want to um, read so even Netflix series 13 reason why has a book if you do any of those things then you need to email literacy at wilden.org in order to be in with a prize draw there's also loads of things on the World Book Day website and recommended reads for you. Don't forget the Harry Potter website, always useful. Um, so loads of different things that you can do in this tutor time if you finish any of your work to really get engaged with reading. So what we're going to look at um, for the next part of the assembly are some recommendations from members of staff, from people that you know. So let's make this a bit bigger. Um, members of staff have put some suggestions of books that they would recommend to you and what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this assembly slightly earlier and your tutors um, will have these and there's a loom of the teacher explaining why they like the book um, so you can decide which teachers and which books you would like to hear about. So Mrs Taylor has recommended Hamnet. Now Hamnet was the name of the son of Shakespeare and you may recognise Hamlet as one of his plays. Um, so it is um, a little bit like historical literature um, about him and, and about what life would have been like for Shakespeare's son. Um, the recommendation, the next one is from me and it is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. So if you liked The Hunger Games, this is um, the prequel. So it came out after the trilogy, but it's about President Snow when he was just an 18 year old. So you can read the blurb and click on the link of me talking about that if you'd be interested. Miss Miller has recommended, and that's English Miss Miller, not Tash Miss Miller, um, sorry, drama Miss Miller, uh, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, uh, which is a bit dystopia, so really fits in with our science um, week that we've got later on this month. Mr Bateman recommends Lord of the Flies, a classic text, um, which lots of you will know from reading it in year seven. Mr. Denman, The Beach, you may have heard of if you've ever seen it. It is a real, it's based on a real beach in Thailand. Um, so, yeah, really beautiful there. Mrs. Heath, the classic Harry Potter. Who couldn't love Harry Potter? Mr. Collins recommends George Orwell Down and Out in Paris. Um, you may have heard of George Orwell before from Animal Farm in 1984. Mr. Nickel um, has recommended, now I can't can't even annihilation I think it's called um, so if you are interested then have a look at this one it is from a trilogy trilogy can't speak today Mrs Broadrib of course it's an adventure book from her just a little run around the world five years three packs of wolves and 53 pairs of shoes it had to be something extravagant for her um, and so this is an inspirational story so slightly different from some of those fiction books earlier Mrs. Cook has recommended Silka's Journey. So lots of you would have heard of The Tattooist of Auschwitz. And this is by the same author. And it's all about a, um, a lady who was um, in Auschwitz. And then she was taken to a further concentration camp in Russia and all about her struggles. And it is based on a true story, but mm, people question it slightly. Mrs Early has recommended The Fire in the Glass, Mrs Dixon, The Beekeeper of Aleppo, which uh, we can see it's got um, a review from the tattooist of Auschwitz author, author sorry. Um, and it's about the Syrian civil war, so it could be really interesting if you're interested in any of those. Miss Curtin Sewell has recommended Only Ever Yours, and it says here a novel about beauty, body image and betrayal. Mrs Searle from, um, has recommended Born Under a Million Shadows, um, and you can see she said the opening two sentences had her hooks, and this is about the Taliban as well. Miss Spraggs um, has recommended four short stories before the coffee gets cold. Mr. Chance, the le leaving Microsoft to change the world. So we've got another non-fiction book for you. Mr. Clissold has recommended The Life of Pi. Some of you may have seen that film before, all about a tiger on a boat. 
and Miss Martinez, The Shadow of the Wind. So you're going to have a little bit of time after this assembly and you can ask your tutor to click on the loom uh, to see what the teachers are saying about those particular books and why they recommend them. The final thing from me, even though I'm talking about World Book Day to you, is to have a quick look back at Red Nose Day, which is next week. So this is a plea from Miss Yates. Uh, next week is Red Nose Day and for next Monday is the deadline to send in your jokes. They must be clean, about 10 seconds long um, and we will be having a look at them in tutor times in order to celebrate Red Nose Day. So after this assembly, as I said, you've got loads of activities that you can do. Um, we've got the World Book Day quiz, we've got the library challenges, but also see some of your teacher recommended reads from the looms if there were any that interested you. Thanks, C9.